Hey there, Dana K coming to you from Dana K Gym and Wellness. Today's tip, um, a lot of women, uh, mainly women, have come to me and asked about how they get rid of the baggy, saggy skin, like under their arms or whatever. Um, a lot of times, you know, I tell people through, through the years is you want to lose weight as you tone so that you can maintain as much elasticity as you possibly can um, in your skin. So your skin is an organ. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's definitely, um, you know, as they say, it's not a rubber band. So it's not going to bounce back just because you've lost the weight. Um, if we've stretched the, the, the skin out, the, the organ out, you know, it, it sometimes we need, you know, some things to help it get back. Um, as we get older, we've lost, you know, we, we lose elasticity in our skin, period. We lose that collagen just because of age. So, um, you know, sometimes that's, you know, a factor and we can't do anything about that. I can't do anything about that. Um, but the main, the, the main thing is that you have to remember is if, if you've, you were overweight, you've lost the weight, you do have the baggy, saggy skin, the cool thing is you've lost weight. So feel good about that. Um, you know, you've, uh, you're, you're healthier you, you know, so that's the cool thing. And that's, that's the main thing that you need to focus on. This other stuff is just vanity stuff, which is, you know, I mean, I, trust me. I mean, I, I know about the vanity things, you know, the, a lot of women, you know, have just five, 10 pounds to lose and, and or 20 pounds to lose, 15 pounds to lose. We call that vanity pounds. So it's, it's just what we want to do to make ourselves feel better. It's for ourselves. Make sure that it's for yourself that you want this gone. Because, um, you know, sometimes the only way to get that gone if you've, you know, lost weight is surgery, you know, to get the skin removed. I mean, that's, that's an extreme, you know, and that's an extreme thing to do. So make sure, you know, that you're doing it for all the right reasons, um, because it is an extreme surgery. Um, so my thing is, you know, just, just be proud of what you've done. You've lost the weight. Um, you're a healthier you. And, um, you know, try and do as much tuning exercises as you possibly can. And for those of you just starting watching this video, <clears throat> and just starting your fitness journey um, or just kind of a little bit into your fitness journey and you know you have you know some weight to lose and you are afraid that you might have some baggy saggy skin and you want to try and do um, you know what you can do now to kind of prevent as much of the, the saggy skin as possible is definitely tone as you're losing weight don't just do the cardio and don't just lose the weight there you want to you know increase lean tissue that's gonna you know you know firm firm that stuff up firm the muscle up you know so it's kind of a losing and toning so that you are you know in a sense battling you know a lot of that saggy skin that may you know may come about um, you know it's hard to say whether you know people people come to me all the time and tell me well I think I have about 50 60 you know pounds to lose do you think I'm gonna have like the saggy skin well I, I don't know because one I don't know how your organ your skin you know is going to react I don't know how you yourself you know how much effort you're gonna put into you know lifting weights to help tone and firm as you're losing the weight on the cardio and the, and the food you know side of things so that you know a lot of times that's up to you a lot of times it's up to your genetics so I personally can't say oh yeah you got 60 pounds you're gonna have three inches of skin to get you know to, to be sagging yeah I, I don't know I don't I have no clue how your body is going to react um, so my best thing, you know, for you all that that I can possibly tell you is make sure that you're toning and losing at the same time, not just cardio losing weight, cardio losing weight. You need to tone and increase lean tissue. That way you're firming up, you know, skin, you're firming up your muscles, you're also increasing your, your lean tissue to increase your metabolism to help you lose weight and body fat faster. Okay, so sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, the baggy, saggy skin is the inevitable. It depends, it depends on how much weight you do have to lose. It depends on, you know, the, the genetics. It depends on your skin itself. 
Um, it depends on your age, you know, and how much collagen, you know, slash elasticity you have in your skin. So I personally can't tell you, but I can tell you that if you lift the weights as you're doing cardio and the proper nutrition, you will do yourself a favor and 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 have, you know, you're, you'll be fighting that battle as well, the, the, the loose, saggy skin. Um, if you lose weight slowly, like one to two pounds a week, like I tell you that you should, that also helps, um, you know, with that. I mean, if you go, you know, and lose 30 pounds in two, three, four weeks, 40 pounds, you know, in a month, like some of these fad diets have you do, you're you're gonna have baggy, saggy skin because you're just you're you're dropping, you know, it's just like sucking the life out of out of your body. So um, you know, be mindful of that as well. So um, you know, it's why it's always important to lose weight you know, slow, one to two pounds so that you know a week, sometimes it's three pounds, um, you know, so that you know that you're losing body fat and you're increasing lean tissue and that also helps with the baggy, saggy skin, okay? So I hope that helps um, and a lot of, especially women, a lot of people come to me and ask me about the baggy, saggy skin. Will I have it and what do I do once I have it? So, you know, here's help to prevent that or as, prevent as much as we possibly can. And, um, you know, for those that already have it, you know, try and, you know, just lift weights and, and, and you know, try and get it, try and, and firm that stuff up. And, you know, at some point, like I said, depending on, sometimes you might have to or want to take the elective surgery to get the skin removed. But like I said, that's like an extreme case. Um, but the main important thing is, whether you have baggy, saggy skin or not, guess what happened? You lost weight and you're a healthier you, and that's the most important thing. Stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.